Freeze! Are you not prepared for a major catastrophe? Well, they're predicting a big one, especially after the past three that have been happening in the last 36 hours. So I'm gonna show you my survival guide. Let's pack and let's get ready. Oh, I should have put a helmet on. Oh, come on, let's get ready. Hey guys, I'm Brendan Taylor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to survive in case of an emergency. First things first, you need to get a backpack so you can pack some essential belongings because when the shit hits the fan, you don't wanna be the one scrambling around. So I'm gonna teach you guys what you're gonna need. So here are my essential essentials, basically. We got some dog food because you never know when you're out there, how long you're gonna be out there, Petco isn't just gonna be open, and unless you're ready to rob someone, I would just have your own dog food ready. And you never know because you might find love while you're out there. Usually natural disasters bring the community together and I'm hoping that if it brings me together with someone, I'm ready. Next thing's next, you wanna have some Advil in case of some kind of emergency headache. You know, sometimes you get migraines when a lot of stress is going on and I just know that if I get a headache in there, I'm not gonna wanna do anything and then someone's gonna have to carry me and it's just gonna be this big deal. Also have some Band-Aids and you wanna make sure you have the most essential essential a flashlight because you never know if your iPhone dies, what are you gonna do then? You need a real flashlight, have some extra batteries. You also wanna have a film camera because you wanna make sure you capture everything. This is for the content, guys. Think about your Instagram growth. Think about the engagement. You post a crazy photo like on top of like a, like a market that's been destroyed, be crazy. Next things next is you wanna have like a complete outfit, a comfortable outfit. So I got me some sweatpants, still fashionable, you know, it's tied up around the ankles, so it's kind of like, you know, the jogger style. It's still like in style. Then we got um, some nice shoes. You gotta, we want comfortable shoes because you gotta think. After an earthquake, an apocalypse happens. If you're gunning down zombies and shit, you wanna be able to run. You don't wanna have to like pull on some high top Converse or anything, so I'm just thinking ahead of things. Next things next, some Brennan Taylor merch. The brand new Brennan Taylor merch. You can pick it up at brennantaylor.com. You always wanna be ready. And just, just so you know, we do ship through earthquakes. So don't worry, we're still gonna be sending our Amazon drones dropping off merch, so you have nothing to worry about that. Next things next is you wanna have like essential foods that won't go bad. And the one thing that I know will not ever go bad is spam. I know it's probably disgusting, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I know that if there was an apocalypse, I'm gonna survive because I also have Twinkies. And you know, Twinkies never go bad. So I'm excited about that. You wanna have a sweatshirt just because you never know. And most importantly, a roll of toilet paper because you don't wanna be the guy that's standing over all the rubble wiping your ass with a pine cone. Let me tell you, I did it one time in Yosemite and it was not fun. I had prickles in my <laughs> Lastly, you wanna have something that you could sleep on comfortably. I know you have your hoodie, but that's gonna keep you warm. You wanna have a pillow that you can also drink out of. So, this is some liquid courage to keep you going because like I said, it's gonna be a stressful environment. So you wanna be able to know that you're gonna have something to calm your nerves. And what better thing than a pillow bag, huh, of wine. Delicious, love that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to pack that. You also have a survival blade in case someone does try to run up on you. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. So, let's pack this up and let's see a little time lapse of this, shall we? All right, and boom. You're packed, you're ready, and you're ready to survive. Honestly, that looks like a good a good good deed right there. Wait, what are you doing? You need those. What do you mean? That's part of the survival guide. Oh yeah. I was just a little hungry. But don't worry. We have almonds in there. Now we need to put our speed to the test because yeah, it's great to have everything ready, but what about if you're in different situations? These are all things we need to figure out. What if you're in the shower? How are you gonna grab your bag, put some shoes on, and get out in time? We're gonna time this, and we're gonna see how fast I can get to safety. Keep in mind, I still gotta grab that little guy down there. I gotta keep him safe. I signed up for this job as soon as I said I'm a father. So I need to protect not only my own life, but my son's life. And I cannot forget the rollie on my arm. I have to take that too, obviously. You can't just leave something like that. So let's put the first test to the test, okay? We're gonna play off as the last earthquake happened, what I was in, what the situation was in, and how fast it can be until I get out of here and until it's safe zone, okay? Are we good on that? Let's do it. Let's do this. Before we get into this actual timing of everything, I needed to get an official referee in here, so I brought over one. Let's move it! There we go, so we're gonna actually get a full on timer, we're gonna get how this is gonna go, but we need to figure this out, Jake. Before we just jump into something, how are we gonna film this? I think uh, you should be doing your natural thing and I'm in charge of when it starts. 
Okay. So I'm gonna have a timer, and you can be eating, drinking, watching TV, and I just scream out of nowhere, earthquake! And you have to go into the routine of getting down, getting your stuff, All and right, getting right. out. All right, and do we know how long the shaking is? Let's let's go off of the same time that yesterday's was. Yesterday's was about 14, 15 seconds of shaking. You guys are about to learn how to survive an earthquake 101 with the Taylor Boys. So let's uh, let's get this started, shall we? Earthquake! Move, 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 move! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that for? Rule number one, always duck and cover while it's shaking. What the heck? Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake! <laughs> cover your head, cover your head, cover your head! <laughs> oh my god, it's still shaking so much! I don't have shoes on! Come on, sit down, sit down! Okay, okay, shake this on! Let's get out, let's get out! <laughs> Always oh, missing my chest. Oh, God, this wine is heavy. Let's go, loser. Let's go. Wait, what the heck? How are you here? I want to see you sweat. Run. All right. Listen, we're going to safety. What was 39 that? seconds. 39 seconds, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm alive and I'm good. Let's go talk about what we did wrong. All right, so what do you think you did wrong? Honestly, what I think went wrong, that bag of wine is really heavy. Two, I think Kobe needs to be wearing his leash at all times, 24 seven. He needs to sleep in it because not having like the leash on him already makes it extra hard because not only do I have to hold him, but I have to hold a 45 pound bag. I also forgot the Twinkie, so like there's no use of that at all. You're never expecting an earthquake, but when it comes, like I'm glad I had this because what if I had to run around while this place was collapsing and pack this bag? I'd hate to be where I was right now. Cool, so let's uh, put you in some different situations now. All right, let's do it. Get in the shower. Huh? What if you're in the shower? But my pee pee gonna be shown. <laughs> oh fuck, Where's your dog? Oh, Kobe! No! I failed! Just kill me! Kill me too! <laughs> So what did we learn? We learned that if I was in the shower and there was an earthquake, I'm pretty much dead. But I did also learn that my watch is waterproof. That's really cool. Just hope you're not in the shower when there's an earthquake, it's dangerous. That was slippery as hell. And I got soap in my eye and that shit burns. <laughs> you're going down, loser. Just like your mama did yesterday, she went down on me. Yeah! Earthquake, oh. earthquake, earthquake! Oh. Get down, get down, get down, get down! Uh. Cover our heads, cover our heads. Ah, good day. Shaking's over, shaking's over. Get out, oh get out, get out. There's stuff falling from the roof. Come on, Kobe. Oh no, we're blocked in, we're blocked in. Come on. Oh God, oh, I saved you, little guy. Oh man, rule number two, never jump. Even just a 10 foot fall could break your bones like mine, and then what? There's no hospitals, everyone's dead. Yeah. Go, be free. Oh, thank you for the last kiss, now be free. Be free, my son, I love you. All in all guys, I think I've taught you enough that you need to know to survive your very own earthquake. Guys, this is not a joke. I know I kind of made this in a joking manner, but just be ready because there's already been three in the last 36 hours. And if this is anything like Japan, they had a build up before their massive earthquake. And I just want to be prepared and have you guys all be prepared because you guys are a family to me. And if you're like, you're watching this video, then I, I care about your well-being, and I want to make sure you're safe. So always have some belongings packed and ready so that you can get out of there right away. Do not jump from any distance, alright? Make sure you're safe because a distance as far as 10 feet could really break your bones, so you gotta be careful doing anything like that. But I feel like I've taught you enough. First things first, get under something, whether it's a table or a doorway. 
And just be careful from falling objects because you never know what could hit you in the head and also never face the windows when you are under something because this glass might just break. But until next time, I hope you guys stay safe. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up. Join my Patreon right now, patreon.com slash Brandon Taylor. We have tons of new tiers that are awesome and exclusive content as well as private Snapchats and such that you can contact me and we can snap each other. But until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.